Another way that you might see categorical data represented would be in a segmented bar chart, um, which is sometimes called a divided bar chart. Segmented bar chart, divided bar chart, and what else would it be called? Perhaps a stacked bar chart as well. And the reason for that is that we stack the frequencies on top of one another. Um, so rather than putting it as different bars going along, we're just going to stack this one on top of that one and this one on top of the next one, etc, etc. So we could be asked to represent either the frequencies or we could be asked to represent the percentages. And it would work the same way. We'd either stack this one on top of this one on top of this one on top of this one or same with the percentages. So I'm going to use the percentages for this example. So that's this column here. So along my scale, I'm going to want from 0 to 100, because if I've stacked them all up correctly, they should all add up to 100%. So that's what I'm going to make the top of this scale. And we have 0, 10%, 20%, etc. And for this kind of uh, graph, we do need to use different colors, because I'm going to use different colors on my stacked bar chart, my segmented or divided bar chart, whatever you'd like to refer to it as. I'm going to use different colors for each of my different um, responses. So let's start with Hazel. And Hazel had a frequency of 33%. So 33 is about there. And that's the first stack or chunk on my stacked bar chart. And I would have a little legend over here somewhere that said that is Hazel. And then the next one, I'm going to add another section of 27%. So what number does that go up to? Well, it's the 33 plus 27. So 33% plus 27% gives me where I need to draw that next line. So 33 plus 27 is 60%. So that's where this next line comes in. And this part here covers from 33 all the way up to 60. So it's going a distance of 27%, but I've just put it on top of this previous bar. So it's still the height of 27%, but it's going up to 60 because this height is 33 and this height is 27. So I've just plumped them on top of each other and so far we're up to 60. So the next one there that I'm going to add, oh, before I do that, I need to put over here my scale, uh, my legend rather, so that is brown. And now we'll get another color for blue. So this one has a frequency of, a percentage frequency of 30%. So I'm going to add another 30 on. So I'm going to have 60% um, plus the next 30%, which gives me 90%. So 90 is where I want to draw the next line because that would mean that this distance from here to here would have this 30%, which is what I want to be represented for blue. See here? So that one is blue. And then the last one is going to have a percentage frequency of 10%. And if you look, I'm up to 90, so that's perfect. I'm just going to draw the last bit at 100%, tack that bit on there, which makes this distance 10% and put my last legend in, and that is green. So I drew that in not the wisest color. But um, just so you know, we don't normally draw these bits here. So I'm just going to rub these out. These were just for your um, information. That's not part of the graph. You don't need to label them with, um, with those distances there. This is how it would be represented because this scale over here tells us what we're looking at. Um, and that is a stacked bar chart. Now, obviously, it would be um, slightly different if we were doing the frequencies. What would this scale all add up to? It would add up to the total, because I'd have going up to 10, and then I'd have another 8 added on, and then I'd have another 9 added on in another chunk, and then I'd have the last 3, which would take me to my total. So the whole stack should add up to the total that you have. So if it's a total frequency, it's this. If it's a total percentage, it should always be a 100. And that is a segmented bar chart. And if you like, you could think of this as similar to a pie chart, but just represented in uh, one stack in a vertical sort of way, 
This can be horizontal as well, by the way, um, just as can a normal bar chart. We could have hazel, brown, etc. going along here and have our bars going this way if we wanted to, just so you know. Usually you see them the other way around up though. But if this were a pie chart, it might be represented something like this. Um, we would have this section over here would be the hazel, and then we might have this bit over here being the brown, and then here we would have the, the blue, and then we'd have this little piece left, which would be the green. And so if you notice, this being 3%, this being 30, uh, sorry, 10%, this being 30%, this being 27, etc. Here's my different uh, chunks highlighted. I've just represented it in a circle, in a wheel, and here it is just as a tower with um, them each taking up their correct percentages. So that's it for this tute. In the next one, we will be looking at stem plots.